Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? How are we? What's today? Wednesday. Pottery. Oh, I might not be able to go though. I've got too much on. Oh, priorities. How are you? Come on in. Come on in. Good morning. Let me take these off for a minute. We're, none of us are getting any younger, are we? Hey. Eh? Good morning. Come on in. We're in the uh, we're in the shack shack, and we're in the down in the woods again. Down in the woods. We let's go down to the woods today, shall we? We're really enjoying this one, aren't we? Beautiful day here in Crowborough. What about where you are? Good morning. Come on in. Grab a seat. It's lovely to have your company. Where are you? Is the sun shining? Dave and I had a laugh this morning. I showed him that video that I attached to my blog yesterday um, about um, the hurricane in 1987. And uh, it was quite comical. Michael Fish. I mean, he's got to be the most famous, for us English, he, he's got to be the most famous weatherman, weather reporter ever, hasn't he? If you say, name an English weatherman. <laughs> There's only one you know, really. It was quite comical. A lady rang in and said that there's going to be a hurricane today. Well, if you're watching, don't worry, there isn't. <laughs> Seven oaks became one oak. <laughs> mm, terrible. And that's what I was talking about. I was wishing on in my blog because the big, beautiful birdhouse that Dave made... It had to go on a tree that we felled because it was it was going to come down if we didn't cut it down. And in that garden, there's another stump further back of a Scots pine. And that was the one that came down in the hurricane straight through the bedroom window. Mm, and my mum was a lone blesser. So, so they didn't take a lot of convincing about this other huge tree. Mm. Uh, you don't forget, do you, when a tree comes through the, through the bedroom window? So, how are you this morning? Everybody happy? Come on in. What's the time? Steve, you're in the building today, aren't you? Steve Ellen's with you today. Good morning, Steve. If you've got any questions, just ask Steve. And perhaps, Steve, you could just let me know if the volume is good. That'd be brilliant. And I'll turn my phone to silent. God, I've been a busy morning, busy morning today because we're getting all fired up for the this Christmas. I know it's a bit early for Christmas, but you know, us stampers, we need this time, don't we? And certainly the partridges do. So traditionally in the craft world, Christmas starts much earlier than this. We're trying to push it back a little bit because it didn't seem realistic. Um, but Ho Chanda are having their Christmas party and we're involved in it. And so on Saturday, we're launching those fantastic um, Marina Fedotova images that we've licensed. They're beautiful, really beautiful. Thing is, though, they're colour arenas. So for us guys, us Shack Shack people, they're brilliant because now, of course, we've got the we've got the pencils and we know how to use them. <laughs> I've got a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. So um, yeah, I think that that's going to be brilliant, but. The trouble is, not trouble, but it takes quite a long time preparing because you've got to colour it in. But it's in, enjoyable too, isn't it? It's not, a, it's not a chore. I could think of a lot worse jobs. Should we go back? <laughs> you remember when we had, that, we had that banter about what's the worst job you ever had? That was only a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? <laughs> we won't go there again. I thought some lot worse ones afterwards. So come on. Let's get going. What's the time? One minute to early to the party. Right stretch. I tell you what, my neck. Yeah, we've got a lot going on at the moment. So much as I'd like to go to pottery, it's the jury's out on that one. I'm not sure. Is this working? I've just unclipped it. Right, that's better. I could feel my neck going. The, <laughs> the clip was attached to the T-shirt underneath the jumper and the T-shirt was sinking and so the, so this was going down with it and so was I. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's great being a techie person, isn't it? Come on in. Are you enjoying the woods? I'm loving it down in the woods. And I thought today, because we... Actually, I put it under, under here because it started curling, like the ferns that we're going to do. And, uh, and I didn't have a chance to transfer from my tracing paper. So I drew it on my tracing paper. But you see, I'm doing everything twice, aren't I? Because I'm doing it on the tracing paper, on the paper. Blah, blah, blah. So I thought this time, I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to take it from here to there. Yeah, be all right. And so we're going to do the ferns today. What's the time? 10.01. Good morning. Here we go. Right, rewind. Good morning. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And here we are in week, is it week 16? It is. Golly. Week 16. And we get together every morning at 10 o'clock for a little bit of positive creativity and we develop our, uh, our colouring skills and our illustrating drawing skills and our life skills, don't we? Yes, we do. I am anyway. It's doing me the power of good. Like I said yesterday, just know that it's doing me at least as much good as it's doing you. So, let's have a look at where we were yesterday and then we'll go from here. So, so yesterday, I've got a couple on the go here. Let's look at this one. I know it felt like we didn't get much done yesterday, but we learnt loads because we're really focusing on different leaves, aren't we? Different leaves this week. And so yesterday we looked at oak leaves, ivy leaves, beech leaves. And today I want to look at ferns because that, that was on the list for yesterday. Ferns, they're there. And then I've also, what I want to add to the mix today, apart from the dragonfly, which is glorious. So I've done the dragonfly on there. I just didn't do the blackberries because I think that blackberries are just, the leaves are beautiful on blackberries and the fruit is scrumptious. So wild blackberries it is. And we're going to weave that round that twiggy frame. Doesn't that look good? Easy to do easy to do and it'll be great for shading because we can get the little light hitting those little berries can't we and we'll learn how to do those leaves as well yeah and I'm sorry that I didn't get to the normally I transfer that to there but yeah you know there's only so many hours in the day and my days seem to be getting longer and longer so I've got to get I've got to get the claw back the time where I can so let's have a look the first thing I think we should do is look at the, let's do the fern, then we'll do the dragonfly, and then we'll do the, the blackberries, yeah? Let's look at the fern. Now the fern is really, really lovely, and it, I love fern, don't you? It, it's so beautiful, and it curls like a snail. It curls into those tiny, the tiniest, just rounds, and then it opens up just crazy so the first thing we want to do i thought we would put some ferns in this corner here and we'll we'll have a look on this piece here and the first thing we're going to do there's nothing else really going in this area unless you want to of course but so you could go quite tall with the first fern fern and the second one i just thought we'd get a little bit of it movement going here right so so first of all we're going to make our we're going to decide where your curl is let's do one at a time because if you do all three curls what I what I figured out come on in grab a seat I know I'm running away here but I want to get to the blackberries I love blackberries don't you right so we're going to go up like that and curl and then we'll do that one with complete with leaves before we put the next one in because you may want to change where you where you put your ferns you know you don't want them all huddled up they get too get too confusing so we'll do the top one first right so we're going to make a curl like that that'll do that's it let me get in a bit tighter shall i 
So let's concentrate on this fern because it'll be really lovely. It's good for you. <laughs> Don't eat it, but I wonder if you can put them in a salad. How's the diet going? <laughs> right, no comment. So what we're going to do is make the the cur the leaves on here. Now, the thing about ferns, let's have a look. They they start quite small and then they get large, see? So they start here and they go down the side and and they usually the leaves kind of sit opposite one another. They don't alternate. Well, my ferns don't anyway. They 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 go from the stem from to the same place and they're quite the pattern I'm gonna I'm gonna show you let me show you one large if I where's that leafy thing right if I show you a, a, a fern really large okay then you'll understand what I mean if for example this there there's one leaf there let's just go there and they're quite long and they're, they're sort of, they're like that. Let's let's just do this. That one's quite small. Then we'll go down a little bit. And then it will go a bit, bit bigger. This is a little bit big. And then to go to the next one. And then it will go a bit bigger. These are very big, aren't they? So I might miss one out there so it doesn't get too busy. So you can make them like that. Then you can actually bring them down and bring them over like that if you feel like it. Look, but the point is, watch, as we come round now. As we get bigger, you can you can change the shape of them a little bit. Do you see, like this. But they're getting bigger as they come round. So we probably started a bit too large, to be honest. So we're, when we do when we go to real, we'll get we'll go smaller here, and then by the time we get round here, it'll be this kind of size, right? So the point I'm making is don't get hung up on the shape because, right? It's just like that. It's just going up like so and then on this side I might pretend it's curling over a little bit I mean this is large so see so then you're going to come up like that and then probably pr pretend it's curling around like so so these bits are coming round you you won't see them so much it's these bits that are important these leaves here see and as they come round they get larger and larger or oh, make sure they come to a point like that Right, now what I wanted to see, so you can see it looks like a beautiful fern. And because we're doing it in quite small, you, the, you, the, you don't have to get hung up on the detail. It literally is like that. And then perhaps as it comes down to the, the bottom, maybe make it a bit smaller again uh, or, or curl it up or whatever. But this is what I wanted to show you was within this area here, what we can do, let's just pick, let's pick one, let's pick any one, let's pick that one, okay, the largest one, so you can see what I'm talking about. And then what I wanted to do in here, let's say that's the same, we're not going to draw that, but what I want to do, and this is, when you look at a fern, right, so we're going to go like that, because actually, I mean, this in large looks a bit ridiculous. But when you do it tiny, so we're going in like this. Right, and that is on that tiny little fern. Do you see what I'm getting at? See, if you look in tight there, if I, if I show you, let me see if I can show you on this camera. If you, if you get in really tight, just hang on a minute. We Right, do you see the little zigzags within the leaf so you can only do it really on the larger ones but that's the so that's the structure for me of a of a fern and i just wanted to show you that on the big fern leaf you've obviously on the frond i think it's called i'm not sure i should have looked it up um you've got other leaves haven't you and each leaf has got that hang on wrong camera and each leaf has got this, so you've got all that, but then each leaf has got more leaves on it. So, so that's the trick, yeah? When you do it this small, obviously, you're not going to get in there and do that, are you? So a little bit of a squiggle will do the job as well. Okay, 
So don't get hung up on that. Let's get the shape done first. And the larger ones are going to be about here, aren't they? Yeah, and then they're going to get small coming in in this way. So probably the best thing to do is start there. There you go. Start there and then come round. I bet that will control the size of them coming in this way. Yeah, so do that and then come round. Give yourself enough room. Yeah, this is nice. There you go. Come in a bit smaller now. Smaller, grey, smaller, tiny. Into the centre. Boom. Yeah, that'll do. And then out the other side. Right. Take your time. If you rush it, just get your eye in and you'll see. Just make these. Right, and then round here. I want to pretend that that's coming around the back like so. It's curling. Otherwise they get they look stupid. They look like, you know, it looks too big. It looks like too full on. So maybe make this one a bit smaller as well. So that you see how they're curling around if you like. So they're flat, flatter because they go in the other way and they. That actually looks really good, doesn't it? Right, let's have a look. Yeah. Hover over the page you're right with this I know I've got all I'm a bit hyper today and it's because I've been coloring in since five o'clock this morning <laughs> panicking about the blinking tv show on Sunday Saturday Saturday this is going to look good there you go and then it comes round, doesn't it? And I would say that as it comes round, we make it smaller again. Otherwise, it will get too... I mean, you get loads of different... Um, you get loads of different sorts of uh, part ferns, don't you? You get... That's more like it. Like, I don't want it to be too busy. You can get ones that are, that are really... I don't want to spoil me out. Really, f like, huge leaves. And then they go up like that, don't they? Like a like that but this one goes tall and then it comes back in again otherwise it's going to be too busy down here right got that one what do you think where's your rubber quite good though and you can understand now why I've kind of made it a little bit looser here it's so that we can go in and do our little way like that because this is what's going to make it look like a a fern tree a fern branch or leaf look see that's what makes it look like a, a leaf a fern leaf it's when you do that I mean whether or not we could do that with the micron pens I have no idea but we'll give it a go look, see let's just prove that this looks good before we crack on with the next one so you do that little zigzag turn your work round have I got the right glasses on Looks great from where I'm sitting. No, let me see if I, if I put my day medners on. Oh, not bad. <laughs> God, right. This looks really nice. See, it may be because that will look really good. And then when we pen that, see the pen work will do this bit. And then we'll rub out the bit around the outside because it doesn't need that then. That's the key. So we've done that one. Let's pretend we, we know what we're doing there. And only you can only really do this, this detail on, um, on the larger fern leaves, can't you? So then we could put another one. Let's do an... I'm going to put another one... There. I, I see. I would, wouldn't mind bringing one round there. I may only do if I've only got room for two. In my original picture, I had three, but I've made this one quite a lot larger to show you the. Doesn't matter, right? You do what you like as long as you know want to do. If you're not happy, if you don't want to do a different one, but I may just bring this one round like that just to make it dip or I could bring it over a bit more. I might bring it over like that. 
That'll do. Right, I'm only going to do two. I haven't got room for the third one. The third one. That's okay though. Right, you ready? Top tip. Start where the, the larger leaf is. Start there. Because it will make you go smaller. Otherwise you're going to be too big. That's it. Fern Woods. That would make a nice name. Have you thought of a name for your woods yet? Uh, Dragonfly Woods. That looks good. Right, and then over the back. Now these ones are definitely, I don't want them all hitting that one. So we'll have some curly ones as well. Curling over. Mm. Barbara. That's it. And then they go f they go like that basically because they're curling over. That'll work. Curl over, Barbara. Okay, and then we come back round this way. And now they've got to get a bit smaller, otherwise they're not going to come in, are they? Let's do the ones on the inside first. Because they're the ones that get all cluttered. Tiny Barbara, tiny, tiny, tiny. That's it. Good, good job. Right, and then these ones can come round here. Looks all right, doesn't it? What do you think? Nice fern. Happy fern. I like that. Okay. And then we can do our squiggle. Because we've got our sh that's all the shape, isn't it? And then we'll get the squiggles going afterwards. So cool, isn't it? <laughs> Very addictive, this is. That's it. Yeah. Doesn't that look good? It'll look good when it's all done. It's not over till it's over. How are you doing? Everybody happy? Are you happy? That's lovely. Yeah, you could put a little, put little curls in or... But what I want to do is finish that one, that, finish with that one now, because the idea is, I don't want to rush you, but <laughs> I don't want to rush you. I absolutely don't want to rush you. There's absolutely no way that's the, that defeats the entire object of this exercise, doesn't it? And if we have to stay in the woods a bit longer, then that's what we shall do, because we love it there. Because um, we haven't done the wishing well yet, we haven't done the church, we haven't done the landscape, we haven't done the blackbird, and we haven't done the dragonfly. <laughs> and we haven't even started inking and shading yet, which is the best bit. So, we could, rather than panic and have loads of homework, it's Wednesday, we'll play it by ear, see how we're fixed on, see how we're fixed on Friday, you alright with that? I really feel that I'd rather do it properly than go, right, now do that at home and now do that, and you know, okay, you alright with that? And then maybe we won't start colouring until Wednesday or something like that. But we're not going to colour this. We're going to colour the postcards, aren't we? One thing at a time. Right, so we'll park the ferns for now. Can maybe come back to them. I just want to at least do the dragonfly and do the blackberries today. Okay? Dragonfly is lovely. Let's have a look. See what you think. Very easy to do. Let's take a... See, I've already done it on my best piece. Let's take our... Uh, a dragonfly here, right? And what you'll see is it's got a long stem. Size-wise, if we look at it in completion, let me show you next to the 
about the same size as the butterfly. So a lot of you, I noticed you were saying, ah, oh, butterflies too big, but the butterflies at the front with the toadstool, the rest is all dropped back. Otherwise, a butterfly in the distance would be a spot, a dot. And the dragonfly is about the same size as, look, if you turned it round like that, the dragonfly is about the same span, wingspan, as the butterfly. So you decide how big you want yours to be. And what I decided to do was put mine over in this triptych, in the third triptych, you see, like with his tail there. So position-wise, he's here, there. I think he's a bloke. I think he's a fella, dragonfly. Don't know. I don't know a lot about these, apart from that they're very beautiful. So let's do this. And let's see how it's, it's easy. We're going to break it down. We'll do it one step at a time. OK, so the idea is now let's just decide where you want to put him. So get your get your sort of area like there. And then what we're going to do is it's like a stick. It's really strange, actually. It's a funny animal. But it, it sits on a kind of a stick, doesn't it? So let's just put the butterfly, uh, sorry. It's, it's, it's just like a little twig, like that, okay? Just do that. A bit fat, that one. It's around the cookie jar. Right, let's make it a bit thinner. Okay, and then the, le the, the wings are gonna be at the top end, you see? Quite high up. They're very pretty, aren't they? I remember when we used to go to Germany, when we used to, every summer we'd go to Germany and we'd go to um, like these natural lakes and uh, it was actually, it was um, a submarine, U-Boothafen, U-Boot, you know, U-Boat, um, in Wilhelmshaven and there was, um, there was like a, a submarine park, if you like. You know, you get car parks, you also, you had submarine parks and then they got turned into, the U-Boot was very, very deep and he got turned into um, these um, s like big for swimmers, you know, for the public. Right, there's the first one. And then here comes the second one. So they're quite nice. They're a very nice shape. Look, I can't really tell you more than that they, they're just very delicate. Look, they just come out like that. How far do you come out? About the length... Shall I give you some dimensions so you, you got an idea? Are you an inch girl or are you a centimetre girl? Right, if you're an inch girl, my it's about two inches long, the, the body, and about an inch and a quarter. Yeah, about an inch and a quarter, the, the wing, yeah? Now, if you're a centimetre girl, that translates to about five centimetres body, and about three centimetres wing. How's that? We aim to please. Okay, and then on the, so, it, so that's that wing, and then the other wing, we'll try and make it kind of symmetrical. I think it has to be a bit symmetrical, otherwise it'd be a bit weird. So we'll do that one, like so. Right, this one's behind, isn't it? If you see what I mean. Let's see behind so we're gonna doesn't have to be exact but let's just get it about like so see I've made it a bit bigger don't matter and then this one is going to be behind that one I'm going to put it behind just because I can and we'll make it a bit different shape like that bit droppy. They all look different. Well, what I was telling you about the U-Boat's half and before I got I started looking at this thinking it looks more like 10 pin bowling. <laughs> no, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. Probably what I want to do to get perspective, right, you ready, you understand, I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter because it's further away, isn't it? So otherwise it's, she's dive bombing. So let's do this one a little bit shorter Look, straight away it looks more logical. Do you see what I'm getting at? And then that one will make it a bit sh sm not smaller, it's just further away, isn't it? So it's going to, this one, if you if you want to go the other way, you just shift the body up here. <laughs> so 
So this one here, maybe make it a bit longer. There we are. And that one there, a bit shorter. That's it. That'll do. Right, get the shape in. Cool, he's quite big, isn't he? <laughs> You're going to go, oh, this looks like an albatross. That's all right. Right, so they do look a bit woody like this. Anyway, so back to the Ubaltshafen. When we used to go there, um, right, get the shape in. The dragonflies, the li that's why I knew they were called libelli. Um, they used to be everywhere, like really beautiful, sort of blue, luminescent blue, you know. But that was that was my first memory, really. Right, get the shape. When you're happy with the shape, then we'll we'll do the infill, because they're very, very, very detailed, like like delicate, aren't they? Make sure you're happy with the shape first. Because I'm on my best piece here, I've got to be happy with the shape. I'm on the masterpiece. That's all right. It's only a bit of copy paper, isn't it? And that's the comforting thing, I think. These are all, if you think about it, what we're doing here is like um, prototypes, test sheets, templates. Right, so what we're going to do, let me find the one that I completed so that we can see it. Right, see? When you look at it, it's got loads and loads of detail. Loads of detail. Um, like crosses and cross hatching. But what I would suggest is that on this top one, just make a little line like that so that there's a little bit, you give yourself a little bit of white area there just so that there's a bit of a divide. That's a good idea. And the light's hitting it, if you like, there. So when we pen it, there'll be two lines there. Okay? That'd be nice. They don't have patterns like, well, these ones don't. They don't have patterns like how a butterflies. So what, but what we'll do is, we'll break up the wings, look, like that. Let's just break, break them up into sections so that they are easier, they'll be easier to tackle. And we'll make them similar, like that. So these are like, they're almost like webs. Let's do this, like so. And then you can, if you, if you wanted to, you could bring that one up there like that. Just jiggle it a little bit and you'll start to see what I'm playing at here in a minute. So what you're doing is, you see, you're breaking up the, You know what I mean now? See how it's starting to break up the area. And then we could start down this end and we will stay with the curve, if you like. So on this one, let's do, let's have a think for a minute. Right, let's do lines. And bear in mind that you're going to pen this, so you probably don't want to make it quite so detailed as I did. I don't know if I could get in there with a micron pen without it to ending up being just black. So I might make it a little bit bigger. See, and then I'm cutting across like that just to make, yeah. And then on this one, I think I'll come down this way. So we're going to change the direction of the, the pattern. And then I'm going to come across this one like that. And I'm sort of jiggling at the same time. It makes it look a bit busier. Right, here we go. We do that side as well. See? Now, the tighter you make this, see, it could be when you go in with a, with a micron pen, you can make it a bit tighter. But let's just not overcook it for now. Let's just do it. See, if I, if I go in a bit tighter, I mean, it's only an experiment, this one, for me. See, if I go in a bit tighter, it looks better. But it's whether or not I can get in there with my pen. That's all I'm saying. Maybe as I get closer to the body, I'll make it a bit tighter so it can, I can get away with it with shading as well, can't I? It's all good. Yeah. And then we go down like that. Boom. And then in we go with a bit of shading. So you can see it looks like netting, like really, really fine netting, doesn't it? 
What's the time? Half past. Right, we'll do one more wing. Yeah? Let's do the top one. And then and then we'll go to the blackberries. See, once we've done the blackberries, then we can always go back to the second fern or come back to the wings. But let's at least get the the main pattern down, eh? There you go. This isn't bad at all, is it? There you go. I don't want to rush us, though. I mean, the whole purpose of this is to calm us down and not make us panic about playing dragonflies. Mm -hmm. Looks good, though, doesn't it? It's easy. Once you break it down, it's not bad at all. Let's have a look. I think I'll go this way with these lines. It doesn't have to be square on. It can be diagonal. Be whatever you fancy. It's going to be so intricate. See, it looks good, doesn't it? And then that's going to be, that's the shadow behind there, like that. Nice. And then we'll do the same in the top, you see? But once you, you break down these areas like this, you'll find that helps. And you can break them down more and more if you choose to. It's quite nice. This is almost like a butterfly pattern, look. Just showing you how pretty that is as well. Not so busy. You choose. You decide. But that's just the, that's the same as that, just in extreme. Okay? So there we go. Libelle. Di libelle. Um, cool with that? It's all right, isn't it? Right, let's have a stretch. So what have we done? We've done the fern today. She's on a roll today. We've done a fern. We've done the dragonfly. And now we're going to go to the black, the blackberries. I love blackberries. I love all fruit, really. There's no fruit. What's your favourite fruit? I bet I've asked you this before. Cherries. Cherries. Found some cherries on the, not on the road, on the A21 on my way to mum and dad's. On our way to mum and dad's yesterday, delivering said bird house. They were so stoked. They loved it. But there was uh, local cherries. When I see the word local, we go for it. And uh, it's just from a local farm. I've, I'm a big believer in buying local at the moment. Since I haven't been to a supermarket since March, um, you know, try and support the little businesses around, the little farms. It's key. And they taste so good. You know, the price is right and, uh, and it helps the farmers. Mm. So we had strawberries and plums, everything that's in season at the moment, you know. We're very lucky. Well, Kent, you know, can you imagine? Garden of England and all that. Really lovely. And I ended up with a great big box and split it all with mum and dad. Right, now let's look at the... Blackberries, shall we? Because the woods that we walk in are going to be full. They're not quite ready yet, but they're definitely coming. They're definitely coming. Now, let's have a look. First of all, we can look at the... Let's take a piece of clean paper so you can see it. Not my best piece. Take a piece of... Hang on. <laughs> Now we can see what we're doing. There we are. Okay, that's better. So if I pan out quickly, I'm just going to pan out, show you it in, in situ. Oh, out, great, out. Right, so if you look at the piece of paper there, right, you can see where I've come with the, with the blackberry bush or branches. Right, and I've wrapped them round that lovely. So that's going to make a really nice um, border, a lovely edge, isn't it? And if you have a look at it in its entirety, while I'm standing up, you can see raspberries, uh, blackberries, I mean, sorry. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there are, I know they're a little bit on the big side. They're beefy, aren't they? Compared to the toadstools. But it's, it's, it's about... 
focus, isn't it? It's about, um, well, it's art for a start. But what we're doing here is we're just highlighting the blackberries. They're lovely. So we'll, we'll learn how to do these because they're easy. And then, because this is definitely a leaf journey, a leafy journey down leafy lanes, right? This time, we'll have a look at the leaf because the leaf on the blackberries is really lovely and it's got a lot of detail on it. And I thought, well, that'd be pretty as well. So if we, for example, let me pan back, go back a bit closer again. Excuse me. I will get it right one day. All right, let's go in a bit, wait, closer. Can you see that all right? That's it, that's better. Right, yeah, cherries. I could eat cherries till the cows come home. Cherries, strawberries, mangoes, pineapples. I like apples and oranges, I like everything. I drink a lot of lemon. Right, let's have a look at this. We'll look at the leaf and then you decide. So the leaves are like that, they're that kind of shape. They're almost like a, yeah, they maybe some, some are a bit longer. See, that's a nice one there. That one. So they're that sort of shape. But what we're going to do, and this is where you've got a con. I find I found you have to quite concentrate on this because it goes zigzaggy, right? So the so the leaf is not round like that. This is exactly the same what we had with the fern. You know when we did the oak tree? Do you remember when we did the oak leaves? And we went so we did the eye shape, and then. We had to go, see I can't do it unless I'm doing it the right way around, like that. So you went in, like that, like that, like that, and then you went to that one, and then you went like that. Oh, it's better the other way around, I tell you. See, so you get that kind of oak leaf shape like that, don't you? Well, and then we did the fern, where you, where you go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, all the way around. So you get that kind of look, except it doesn't look right because, of course, the leaf is this bit, isn't it? Yeah. So and on and on these ones, the the zigzag, you've got to get the zigzag going the right way. So the zigzag, let me just get my eye in for a minute. Yeah, you'll see it. I had to concentrate to do this, but it's really worth figuring it out. Leaves are so beautiful. Leaves, trees, flowers. Hmm? What else do you need? Right, so now what we're going to do, for example, is do a zigzag. And it, it's, it's quite zigzaggy. So let me just get it right. I'm just trying to remember how I did it. So if I go zigzag like that, all the way around. Yeah, proper, proper pointed. Right, and then let's get the top one. Okay. And then let me just and then you start coming down, you see, and this is the this is the key. So on the on the in zig, when it goes zag <laughs> silly cow. When it <laughs> when it goes in like that, right? When it goes to that bit, that's when you make the line. Okay. <laughs> right. So not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Are we going on holiday this year? Well, I'm not sure. No, we're not. Right. There. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look, stick to the... the zag. <laughs> zig, zag. Zig, zag. And then you go down the other way and now the trick is zag. They've got to join up because otherwise it looks too weird. So just you've got to go in on the, I might have to miss one there, like that. That's it. <laughs> might have to recreate the zag a little bit, get a bit creative on this one. There, but look at that when it's done. Beautiful, right? Like so. <laughs> And when we do it with pen it, because that's what we've got to do. The best bit is when you pen all this stuff. Because then you do this, right? 
What's the time? Oh, it can't be 22 already. What is going on today? Right. You get it though, don't you? <laughs> so let's try one more. Let's make it a bit more like that's, you know, like a bit more curled over. Because not all leaves are just bang on like that, are they? Right, so that's the middle bit. I definitely think you need to do the zigzags first. Right, you ready? Should we have a look at mine? Because I did all this. Look, there you go. So zigzag, maybe not so many. Right, this is going to be good. So do the tall, do the first one taller. That will give you a bit of a relief. Right, like that, like that. Z zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. That one was a bit wonky. Right, go up a bit. That looks better. Zag, zig, zag, zig. What's count really? Oh, it's all too much. <laughs> Zigzag count. My God, what's going on here? <laughs> right, ready? This is going to be a masterpiece. So now, let's just think about the direction. This is obviously going that way, isn't it? So you've got to kind of think it through. If that's going to be like that, let me just, we're on the zag. Zag, zag. Are we coming that way? Ein Moment bitte. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Is that going to look better that way? Cold? Yeah. Okay. So if we come like that, that's going to work. I mean, these are so small you won't be able to see the leaves, let alone the veins. But that looks better. Look. Right. Okie dokie. Right. Zag. Come in the zag bit. Yeah, <laughs> looks great when you figure it out. See, doesn't that look smashing? The, and then once you've got it in the right place, then you can get bold and go back in and really bring your leafy look. Beautiful. It's going to look so nice when we, hey? Eh? I really... Breathe, great, breathe, breathe, breathe. Yeah. Doesn't that look great? There you go. So, <laughs> so that is a blackberry leaf. Yeah, so we got the leaf sorted out. And then the actual berries, they're easy. So just make a just make a like an egg shape like that. And then what we'll do is they're made up of loads of little ones, aren't they? So as you get to the edge, if they go a bit flat, that's fine because they're going round the corner. It's round, isn't it? So you're just going to do this and you just, they, but they are perfectly, um, they're not all lumpy around the outside, that's for sure. So then we're going to do that, right? Maybe a bit bigger in the middle. See? And when we shade them in, we're going to be, it's going to be brilliant because and then down the bottom now, they do have a bit of, um, when they come round, they have bits of green, like leaves that just, some of them come in like that. Some of them come off the end, don't they? Like that. Do you see? So you've got those bits as well. And then on the stalks or on, they have little, don't they? Look like my legs. <laughs> No, I didn't mean that my legs look that thin. I mean that I've got a little bristles on my legs. The thing is, it doesn't, you know, <laughs> it's not a priority at the moment, is it, shaving your legs? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Blackberries. 
Have little, I can't see a thing now. Blackberries have little. <laughs> um, not bristles. What are they? Give us a clue. Oh, blimey. Okay, so you've got your green bits hanging over the edge like that. And that would be curled up normally, so give it a little bit of, yeah, that's all like so. And then that bit comes in there like that. Yeah, wunderbar. And then that's going to be your, your berry. Right, so we've done everything in rough. Right. <laughs> so now all we've got to do, oh dear, is go to our piece of artwork. Where I've got so many bits of paper going on here. Where's me shack shack one? Oh, here it is. Okay, great. So now we're going to transfer it down this this edge here. So we've decided where the where our um, triptych number three is going to be. This one on this side. Have you? Did you do that? Have you decided where you thought? Because I thought yesterday when I was doing this, I thought, "Cool, we're going to be here for a fortnight." If we, if you think Hawaii was a challenge, you know. And then I thought, actually, I thought. Even if we do stay in the woods for a fortnight, that's okay. But then I thought, cop out, I thought maybe we'd just do two triptychs. And it wouldn't be a triptych then, it'd be a bi-tick. <laughs> <laughs> just do that one and that one and forget that one. I thought, wow, well, that looks a bit lopsided. Be all right, wouldn't it? Options, choices, choices, choices. You could forget about that one and just do that. And that's pretty, isn't it? Like a large one and a little one next to it. So what we've got is a large one and two ones either side because we, you know... Because we are just ambitious, aren't we? <laughs> so, that's up to you, isn't it? Whether you want to... You could bring... What I'm saying is, you could take this, bring it over here, and cut, call it a day. <laughs> right? But, I wanted to show you... If you have a look at what I've done on my tracing paper bit, you'll see... See the hills? Look. See? It goes through. It goes all the way through. And then there's another hill goes round the back there. There's going to be the church. There's going to be the wishing well in the distance. That's why I had to move the the dragonfly up. Ah, oh dear. God, I tell you what, laughter is a tonic, isn't it? Laughter is such a tonic. I hope my volume's still all right. Yeah, I've got to change these bats in a minute, though. <laughs> okay, right. Black bruz it is. Sorry about that. I do like a good laugh. And I'm on my own. <sighs> okay, so what we're going to do now is first, this is my suggestion. Right, forget him there. What we'll do is we're going to come up here and then over there. So let's have, let's decide where we're going to put the fruits. I'm going to put one there, one there, one there. Just put the fruits in first. Yeah? I'm going to put one down here on the ground. Don't have to do loads. You can always add a few more afterwards. But I would say we do one, two, three, do four. Yeah? And we'll get the fruits in. So you've got your circles. You can see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm hardly touching the paper. Because now I'm going in much smaller, aren't they? Right? And I'm going in now with my berries. Look. And I mustn't forget my little, my greenery bit, because it does, just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just got to be there, hasn't it? So we'll do a bit of greenery like that. And then we'll come again. Right. <laughs> okay. Right, so there's my first, my first fruit in place. Right, because I'm going to put my br branch in in a minute. I don't want to put my branch in until I've sorted this out, really. Let's just do the fruits first, and then we can put the branch in, the, the, the frame. So we'll do these first, because these are easy, aren't they? I think the, the lesson here, if there is a lesson to learn here, it's, it's to not get caught up in the minutiae. Don't sweat the small stuff. You see, because if you look at this, you if you're, and we crafters are great at this. We're so good at getting caught up in in the detail. But you see, 
it's not done until you've finished it. We're just putting little elements in and we're putting them in in a certain order so that so that there are layers of depth. But whether or not this little blackberry here is perfect or it looks a bit weird or the leaves are a bit, um, you know, rubbish, um, in your opinion, it's neither here nor there because they're going to be, they're going to be part of a much greater whole. They're not, they're not standing alone like a toadstool. That's different because it's, it's in your face. Same as the dragonfly. These are centerpieces, if you like. What we're doing here is just building a whole, a whole expanse of elements. And so these little bits won't, they won't, notice so much that's all i'm saying so once you've got your your berries on your berries your little kernels i don't know what the my my language is gone today right let's have a look and then we'll do a little bit of grass a little bit of that a little bit of that stuff and then we'll do that prickly <laughs> We'll do some of that prickly bit as well, but we'll do that afterwards because that's what's going to wrap around, you see. So once you've got those, maybe you want to add a couple of your lovely leaves now. So I would suggest that we put a lovely leaf right. Let's put one there. So you've got your shape now. What about I'm going to put one that way round. So that's the that's the that way round. So it's pointing downwards. This is going to be lovely when it's done, you see. Then we could put how about we put a leaf, one leaf there and another leaf there, a bit big, might have changed that, yeah, you get what I mean, might put a leaf there, put a leaf there, uh, I would say we'll probably put another leaf behind this one, like there, like so, so you can always add a few more, so what we've we done now, we've got one, two, three, four, got five leaves, yeah, so now we're going to do our zigzag, aren't we, on the leaf. So here we go. <laughs> right, zigzag, zig, up, down, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six. It does help if you count. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to put that one in there. And then we'll go like one zag on the zag. Once you get, it's not bad at all. There you go, piece of cake. How nice is that? There you go, there's that one. See, and if you wanted to, you could tuck it in behind, but I want to put a bit of, um, <clears throat> I want to put a bit of the, the twig. This, I want to put this behind there and then wrap with, tw with, with, uh, <laughs> with the prickly stalks. Yes. Right, you ready for another one? Oh, it's, I can't believe we've got to stop. Come on, let's just do this. And then we can start again tomorrow, can't we? We could pick up where we left off, if you like. Because not everybody's got time to finish this, have they? Hey. <laughs> now, I think I'll go from the top. It's easier. So we'll go from the top. Do one more, shall we? Put the... Where's the, is it going to be straight as a rod or should we, let's twist it a bit. Let's bring it round like that. That looks more like it. Yeah. It's interesting. You just put the centre in, in a different place. Right, start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then just bring them in. Here we go on the yeah that looks quite good as well that way oh no it looks more like a pineapple <laughs> definitely wrong wrong angle on the leaf hey though hey though <laughs> just learned how to do a pineapple right well tropical let's go this way instead come on gray that's better yeah i didn't think that looked right did it oh dear Right. 
There you go. Doesn't that look beautiful? Well, I know. Work in progress. Let's call it a work in progress. Let's have a look close up. So in case you can't actually see what I'm doing here, apart from giggling around. There. See? Just in case you were thinking that mine's brilliant and yours is rubbish. <laughs> I, I would... Um, it ain't over until it, it's over, right? Till the fat lady sings. And she hasn't started, she hasn't even broken into song yet. So, so how about... How about this? Sort your little ferns out. <laughs> you do your ferns, I'll do my ferns. Um, do the leaves and the, and the blackberries. And then tomorrow we'll tie it in. Because unless you can, I mean, you might be able to do it already. You might be experts. But I, I'm thinking there are going to be people that think, well, how do I tie this into my thing? So just do the elements that we've got there. And let's have a think. So we did the dragonfly. We did the ferns. And we did the blackberries as well. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Hmm? And, uh, and tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, what was I going to do tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning we'll wrap this blackberry tw twine with the little prickles uh, up the up the branch, and we'll get the triptych, the the framework going. We'll put the landscape in. We'll do a wishing well, and maybe the church as well. So I've got my work cut out for me, but that'll be fun, yeah. So we'll finish the blackberries tomorrow, and we'll do the church. And we'll do the um, the wishing well. <laughs> okay. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see if I get to pottery. I'll let you know later. Um, other than that, please like, follow and share. Check out the blogs. Uh, BarbaraGrayBlog.com. Very active. And my dad's and mum's, um, the big bird table that Dave made is over... It's a, it's a, I blogged about it yesterday, actually. And, um, and Clarity Worldwide, do sign up to Clarity Worldwide. And it's the Facebook page, Clarity Worldwide, yeah. And you'll be able to see all, everybody's artwork. It's a banging little community. It really is. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. And Steve Ellen, he'll let you know. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, it's always a good idea. We won't stalk you, we'll just send you important information and free digi downloads and things like that. And if there's a sale on, if you want to be a member of our clubs and all that good stuff, um, then you can be. Other than that, all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper and tomorrow we'll crack on. So lots of love. Steve, thanks for your help. And um, that set me up for the day, that has. Lots of love. Bye-bye now and I'll see you tomorrow.